How to build your Dundalk Barrel Sauna with Half Moon Windows. Please ensure you have the following items. Make sure you have a sturdy and level platform to build your sauna on. Place down the cradles. Place the starter stave, convex on both sides, onto the cradles. Ensure it has a 12 inch overhang on the front and is perfectly centered. Secure with a 2.5 inch screw and ensure it is square to the cradle. Finish securing with three more 2.5 inch screws. Repeat the process on the back side. Ensure the remaining cradle is perfectly centered. Ensure it is square and secure with four two and a half inch screws. Now place down three staves on both sides of the starter stave. Ensure the notches are perfectly aligned and the staves are tight together. Secure the last stave on each side with two, two and a half inch screws into each cradle. Place the rear bottom wall panel into the notch and ensure it is level. Continue placing staves. Ensure the notch is aligned with the pencil line on the rear wall panel. Place a small nail into each stave to secure it to the wall. Place the rear middle wall panel and secure it to the bottom panel. Continue placing and securing the staves. Place the provided wall support pieces onto the front of the sauna. Continue placing and securing the staves. Place the window support piece onto the back wall. Ensure the edge follows the curve of the wall. Secure with five one and a half inch screws into the wall. Place another stave on each side and secure with a two and a half inch screw into the wall. Now place the door panel into the front notch and ensure it is level. Place the provided spacer pieces into the notch next to the door. Place the first front window into the notch.
Use the wall support piece to push the wall snug against the window. Hold the wall support in place by temporarily fastening it to the cradle using one and a half inch screws. Repeat the process with the other front window. Now place nine more staves. Place the rear window on the back wall. Now place the remaining staves. Wedge the top center stave, concave on both sides, with the last stave, to create a V-shape. Now place a fastener rod into a band, and place the nut on just enough to hold the ends together. Slide the band over the sauna and ensure it is two inches from the end. Repeat the process for the other end. Snug up the front fastener and tap out all the staves. Continue tightening the fastener while tapping all the staves to ensure they are even. Repeat the process with the rear fastener. Place another band over and under the sauna and insert the fastener rod. Ensure the band is placed directly over the front wall panel. Tighten the fastener while tapping all the staves to ensure that they are even. Ensure the front and back fasteners are fully tight. Place another band over and under the sauna and insert the fastener rod. Ensure the band is centered between the band on either side of it. Tighten the fastener while tapping all the staves to ensure that they are even. Now remove the temporary front wall support pieces. Now place the center support stave onto the floor panel and ensure it is perfectly centered. Secure with 15 one and a half inch screws into the pre-drilled holes.
Place the floor panel into the sauna and ensure the notches are aligned with the door frame. Ensure it is level and secure with six one and a half inch screws. Place your first bench front panel and bench supports into the sauna. Place the thin support board onto the rear wall of the sauna and ensure it is level. Use the bench front panel as a height guide and secure with three two and a half inch screws. Place the thick support board onto the front of the sauna and ensure it is level. Use the bench front panel as a height guide and secure to the side wall with two one and a half inch screws. Bring in the first bench seat panel and place it on the supports. Secure it to the bench supports with two two and a half inch screws. Place the two bench legs under the bench cross beams and secure with two one and a half inch screws into the bench and one one and a half inch screw into the floor. Place on the bench front panel and secure with six two and a half inch screws. Bring in and place the bench backrest panel and secure with four two and a half inch screws. Repeat the process for the second bench. Now place the porch floor and secure with four one and a half inch screws. Place the porch bench pieces as shown and secure with two two and a half inch screws. You can pre-drill mounting holes into the front piece to make securing to the floor easier. Ensure the bench is level and secure to the floor and wall with four two and a half inch screws.
Repeat the process with the second porch bench. Install the outer door handle at your desired height. Ensure it is centered and secure with two two and a half inch screws. Install the inner door handle at the desired height. Ensure it is centered and secure with two two and a half inch screws. To install the stove, place the provided mounting template onto the wall and center it. The top B line should be at 23 inches. Screw the mounting screws into the marks on the template. Leave a tiny gap for the stove to slide onto. Remove the template. Slide the stove onto the screws. Now assemble the stove guard using eight one and a half inch screws. Mount the stove guard around the stove to the wall using four one and a half inch screws. Remove the stove knobs, place on the sticker, then put the knobs back on. Now mark up the upper vent hole positions on the rear of the sauna and drill out with a 2 inch hole saw. Only go halfway through to prevent splintering. Mark the lower vent hole positions on the rear of the sauna, below the stove. Drill out with a 2 inch hole saw. Only go halfway through to prevent splintering. Finish drilling out the holes on the other side. Place the vent board on the upper vent holes. Secure with a one and a half inch screw. Screw on the vent guards. Now use the provided caulking to seal the seams on the outside of the windows. Install the optional thermometer with a one and a half inch screw. Install the optional towel hanger in the desired location with four one and a half inch screws. 
replace the optional headrests. Your assembly is now complete.